Whatever, let's trade it, guys. My first purple, bada bing, we got the purple crate here. Very nice, gives access to police storage, okay. Please tell me, okay, one purple inside, bada bing, and four green. Ooh, baby, that's what we are gonna do. Here, go throwing one more nade. They're all gonna explode. Beautiful. Hey, yo, guys, me up, Circle. Welcome back to another video of Last Dinner Survival. So right now, we will go to the police department and I will be doing purple crate opening because I have almost enough blue badges to open up a purple crate. So we're gonna do 20 waves with my milk ore and I'll be able to gather enough blue crates and we will do that purple crate opening. Okay, so I just realized that I still have 20 grenades from the task that I did at that Sector 7. So I think we are gonna leave the milk ore. So we're at the police department and hello, hello, Raider. Like always, we are saying <laughs> hello to that guy and also, some of you might be wondering why am I gonna be doing that purple crate opening because in many many occasions I told you guys that opening up purple crate isn't worth it and even right now I still believe that opening them isn't that worth it but then I was thinking that I do get a lot of green crates and if I won't exchange my green for blue and then blue for purple everything should be maybe fine because I after doing like 50 or whatever waves you're gonna get so many green crates that you'll be opening them up for a month like I got so many green crates that even till this day I am still opening up those green crates. So that means that maybe, maybe opening up purple crates isn't that bad. I still think that purple crates needs a buff and that system where you exchange and get that random purple mod. And then if you already have it, just throw it away. It totally makes sense. It totally makes no sense. It's super annoying. I hate that system. I wish that when we get a purple mod, we could actually exchange it for something better. Like that's the only wish that I have. Other than that, I think that everything is maybe 50, 50 fine. Maybe a bit buffed loot. And some of you might be saying, right now Cyric are you drunk well I don't really think so because as well, I think developers don't intend us to have these purple active mods as a beginner. I feel like you should be getting those mods when you are advanced in the game. And maybe that's how you're going to be grinding that police department. But again, I feel like there have to be some things redesigned. Like, for example, those blueprints that we already have. And when we get, they literally don't do anything. Like, we don't get any extra points from them. Wish we could exchange those blueprints that we already have. Let's say you have, like, that damn purple, uh, let's say, AK uh, grenade launcher blueprint. And let's say you get it again from that crate i wish we could exchange it for something really great for some amazing points or some bunch of guns or like whatever maybe even gold or like something else rather than just giving it to the specialist and then getting another common blueprint that we delete it's like it's super dumb i wish those blueprints had a some sort of meaning so now let's start this damn police department hopefully that will be enough guns for me to get to extra blue crates and i do know that doing 20 waves isn't as efficient as maybe doing like 50 waves because i believe that the most efficient way to do police department is doing like maybe 50 waves at once or something and as well gathering enough grenades and enough milk wars to do it because the truth is you don't have to do police department every three days like what you have to do is like do it once a month to do like maybe 50 waves or something gather enough green cards and open up those green cards all the time because I believe that green cards are going to be success the key to success here in last day on earth because you're going to gather enough green cards to open up them for a month so basically every three days you're going to be getting a great and insane amount of loot and if you already unlocked all blue blueprints I feel that it's maybe going to be okay to exchange those blue blueprints for purple blueprints I haven't done that yet so I'm going to be trying that out today so I can't really give any tips yet I'm going to try to do this for a couple of maybe weeks or something because there's not much I can do at this point of the game where I am. There's really nothing else I can do besides grinding for those purple mods. So I'll try to grind for those purple mods. I'll try to invest all of my guns that I have here just for the sakes of these purple mods. And we will see how that is going to work. Because the point is, I don't really have to hoard my guns anymore. Like from what it seems like, developers aren't planning to use these guns that we have here in the multiplayer. I feel that multiplayer and from all these sneak peeks that we've seen, everything that we are doing right now, guns aren't going to be useful in multiplayer so there is no point to hoard that there's no point to ho hoard the sets unless developers are going to change something but i kind of doubt that i feel that this is how it's going to stay i feel that multiplayer guns we will have to gather them from the beginning at least that's how it feels like i'm not sure but at least this is my guess and i need those active blueprints so i'm going to try to grind them but now i'm going to use my nades baby so let's try to do nades once again over here Throwing the nade, gonna stay on the nade and gonna escape that thingity thing. Here go, threw it a bit too early. I'm gonna wait next time as it's not super perfect timing. 
when you have a spreadsheet, doing police department is way, way easier and it's way, way more efficient. So here we go. Let's try to do this once again. Gonna start the wave. Waited here a second. Throwing here an aid. Gonna stay on top of it and then escape it. Escape too early. Failed like totally, guys. Don't do like I just did. What is annoying that sometimes zombies come very fast and sometimes they don't come at all. So I don't understand what's up with that. Okay, let's try to do that once again. Maybe I don't have to wait it for so long. Throw that damn nade. Here goes staying, staying, staying and getting out of there. But here we go. That worked perfectly. That worked wonders. And now with the spread shot and they're almost all dead besides that one damn officer. Here we go. He's dead now as well. Like always, I pick up those crates at the very end. Like some people say that you should get the bloodhound, but I'm not really sure if bloodhound works or no because I've gotten five blue crates out of 20 waves without the bloodhound. So I believe that bloodhound is just a myth. I don't know. I didn't really test it. So we will see whatever. Let's start the ninth wave now. Here we go. Throwing the nade. Gonna stay on the nade like a second, a second now escaping that and it totally worked and except I got hit by the grenade as well. So that's a bit sad. But again, it's not a big deal even if you get hit by that grenade. Like, it's not like it does something, a lot of damage. Here we go, shotgun active mod is reset. Let's start that. Let's throw here another nade. Gonna stay here on the nade and gonna escape it now and got damage here by myself. God damn it. I'm getting worse and worse at that. In the beginning, I've done better than I do now. Glocks are so great, like every time I'm talking about Glocks, I feel Glocks are the best weapons in the game because they are pretty common. And I would say that AKs are even better than Glocks, but uh, the AKs are pretty rare, so Glocks take the first spot. Glocks are 10 out of 10 and AK would be 9 out of 10 just because AK is so great. It's much better than Glock, especially modded one, but they are so rare, so that's why they get a 9 rating, at least for me. I don't know why you have to rate everything in this game. Whatever, let's start 11th wave, gonna throw the grenade, god dang us. Here go, let's wait and let's escape that now. Here go, that worked perfectly. Okay, 11 waves already, gotta do 20 waves because the, these raiders tasks, these new raiders tasks require me to do those 20 waves in order to raid, so let's just do this. Here go, throwing another nade. Gonna wait here a little bit, now escaping and they all got damaged and myself included. That's not cool. I have actually another idea. Instead of throwing that grenade strict away after you start the way, because I'm still trying to find the best way for it. So I might say, well, Cyric, why are you doing this like you're dumb? You don't know how to throw grenades. The problem is that when you start the wave, zombies sometimes don't spawn at the same time. So I'll try to go closer, actually. Here we go, escaping now. Here we go, that worked properly. So I believe that the best way to throw grenades is going to be not throwing them at your feet close to that terminal. I accidentally just wasted a medkit. But walking actually a bit further. And this way, you will get some damage from these zombies because they're gonna start attacking you. But what you will be able to do is escape. So I think that the most efficient way isn't gonna be throwing the grenade strict at your feet, but actually running over here, throwing them like this. Now I'm gonna wait here a little bit and now I'm escaping and look at that they got damaged and I didn't get any damage because like I said sometimes zombies come very close and other pack of zombies such as like those angry chompers and uh, brawlers they come last and this way you're gonna waste a grenade so the best way to do it is walking a step further and this way you're not gonna get any damage from the grenade look at that throwing the grenade guys waited a bit of a second here go they're coming now escaping that but it's super perfect seriously perfect 100 percent and this is so easy like using the grenades here is insane so maybe guys even getting those purple mods after you unlock that shotgun spread shot and you have some nades isn't that bad but again i don't want to over jinx that because i still haven't received anything i believe if today we're gonna get like some sort of a trashy blueprint i'm gonna be very mad like from one to ten i'm gonna like literally scream i'm gonna flip off if we're not gonna <laughs> get here anything like if i'm gonna get some sort of a purple like revolver drum mod or whatever <laughs> here we go let's start the wave 17 throwing the grenade gonna stay on that nade gonna escape it now escape okay perfect so now after the introduction of grenades it's way easier to do 99 waves because now you don't only have mil cores but you also have these grenades so you'll be able to gather like what couple of stacks of grenades couple of mil cores and it will be easy peasy and for those who do know mil cores last for 16 waves because one mil core has 16 shots well this is so great i just love grenades they are so perfect like oh my goodness now spread shot on three zombies, bada bing. I don't even think that using spread shot there is like kind of that worth it because I know. But if you're gonna have here the spread shot and plus that AK mod, then you don't even have to use here any grenades. I believe that then it's gonna be even easier. But again, I haven't unlocked that AK uh, explosion mod. If I'm gonna get that AK explosion mod today, I'm gonna flip off like seriously. Here go throwing one more nade. They're all gonna explode. Beautiful. 
Here goes. So they're all down. I've done 21 waves. Let's try to loot these. Oh my goodness, didn't mean to take all. So let's try to loot everything and we'll see if I'm gonna be able to gather here at least 10 blue cards. But I still haven't gotten a single green here yet. What? Okay, two greens. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we just got one blue and we got like three green. That's not a lot. Like, I want to get at least two blue and ten green cards. So let's try to do some a bit more waves because that wasn't that efficient. Plus, I have a couple of shotguns. So even if I will run out of my grenades, I will still have the shotgun spread shot. So here we go. Let's throw one more grenade, baby. Let's stay on it a little bit. Let's escape that. They're all dead. Here we go, guys. We got another blue card. This is so cool. Most likely, we are gonna get out of here. Well, I will still do one more wave because I have one more grenade, so why not? Maybe I'll be lucky enough and I'll get one more blue card here once again, but I definitely doubt that. Here we go. We cleared everything and just one extra brown, one extra green. That was worth it. And one extra blue, just like I said. <laughs> <laughs> totally, guys, worth it. We got literally three blue cards out of 26 waves. That's amazing. <laughs> this wave, I called it, guys. We're gonna get it. So now let's go. Let's open up that goddamn purple crate. That's why we all gathered here for myself included. What are you doing, right, Sheldon Zombie? Get the hell out of my sight. Don't you see that I have important things to do? So here we go. Let's open up. Okay, first of all, we gotta exchange that. Let's go, baby. Wow, I just... It looks pretty... Wait, did they change how it looks like? Because I've never actually seen those purple crates. I've never paid attention to them because I knew that I'm not gonna exchange them. But they look pretty damn cool. Especially that badge on the right. Whatever, let's trade it, guys. My first purple. Bada bing. We got the purple crate here. Very nice. Gives access to police storage. Okay, so I'm gonna save all my blue cards. But like I said, we are gonna open up uh, four green. Because greens are gonna be the same success to level that out. So let's hope that I'm gonna get at least a great blueprint. Please tell me. Okay, one purple inside, bada bing, and four green. Ooh, baby, that's what we are gonna do. Like, please tell me that this is not gonna be trash. All I'm asking for... Okay, we're gonna open that at the end just to get some more suspense. Here we go, a... Machete, Katana, a Skull Crusher. Please tell me at least one gun. We got M16. That was worth it. Green crate was uh, worth it. Because rule of thumb again, out of five green crates, if we're going to get at least one gun, it's worth it. Plus we got one more carbon fiber. And all of these mods were already owned by me. So guys, let's open up the green crate. Got the purple crate. So while we go inside, uh, for freaking the freaking sakes, like a freaking... Uh -huh, and I already have it. Was it worth it? Look at that, guys. We opened that crate. What I got? The goddamn police bike blueprint. Totally don't need it. Didn't get any freaking C4s. I just got four goddamn guns and that's it. Like, all that crate opening was trash. BS. And the saddest part, you know what? What? That's what I'm talking about. Let's say you already had that blueprint, right? I wouldn't say whatever. Let's say that even they don't want to buff any crates here. They don't want to buff here any loot in this crate so that it values out, okay? Like this simple solution would be just let us exchange this purple mod for something valuable. Let us exchange it for five extra guns. Let us exchange it for like gold coins. Let us do something valuable with it rather than just giving to that goddamn specialist that gives no value for that. This is so annoying. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's not that hard to get that purple crate, but when you have all the purple mods and you need only one more pur purple mod, it's not worth it because if you have the same purple mod, you ain't gonna get anything from it. That's what's annoying. Every single game that I played, if you're searching for some special item and if gaining that special item involves RNG, then most of the other games gave you an ability to sell that other item for something valuable. So here, if we could sell our purple mod here for something cool, then I believe that would be worth it, but now we just got some trash. But again, I'm gonna open up more purple crates as well as soon as I gather more blue crates. All I think that I should be doing is just a police department more frequently. Because it doesn't take that many guns, but again, I'd use the, my grenades, now I don't have any grenades. If I just had that AK, guys, mod, that would be so much better. Freaking Winchester purple mod, are you kidding me? And as you can see, I do have a bunch of green, these green crates, and I also have a bunch of brown crates. I'll need to exchange them for more green. So I have a 94 green crates right? 94 of those green badges. I could just exchange them for 9 blue and those, uh, then I'll have 10 blue and I could exchange those 10 blue for 1 purple. But as you can see, I would lose so many weapons. Even though it will take me like probably months to open up those green crates, it's still worth it. I'm gonna wait for it because it's not like I'm gonna gather so many weapons again in like a day or something. I know, I think I've complained enough today, but that doesn't mean that I'll stop opening up purple crates. I'll exchange all of my blue badges for purple ones because that's the 
only thing that I need right now. And I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that maybe, maybe developers one day will decide to revamp how these purple crates work or revamp how those active mods work. And then my life is gonna be easier. Not only mine, but everybody else's life is gonna be easier as well. So if you're interested in supporting this channel, the best way to do it is by joining YouTube membership slash sponsorship. Just click that join button and you're gonna get all the information that you need. And also follow me on Twitter, Twitch, or Instagram at Epicyric. All links are over here on the screen. I highly suggest you checking out my life after Let's Play. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day, so make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, drop that like button while we're at it and peace, 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 peace out. Mm-hmm. Yeah.